Hello, I'm Joe Leone, and this is a video log of my experiences at the 26th Annual Chattanooga Rail Gaming Challenge. Mason Rouser and I left Pennsylvania early in the morning on Wednesday. We had about a 10 hour drive to Chattanooga, Tennessee. When we reached around Knoxville, we realized that our buddies from Virginia were only a couple hours behind us. Got to Chattanooga, checked in the hotel, and then had a nice dinner with our friends from Virginia. David, Franklin, Tom and I started the event with an 1822 MX. I ended up with nine shares of the FCM and some pretty decent routes. It was a great start to the extended weekend. My second game was 1822, The Railways of Great Britain. It was a game I brought hoping to play it face to face. Chattanooga Rail Gaming Challenge is truly an international event. For this game, we had Peter from the United Kingdom, who had included the Rail Challenge as part of his visit to the United States. Tom McCurry, who runs the 18XX tournament at the World Board Gaming Championship, and an opponent that I play often at on 18xx.games, Andy, also known as Caffeine. 1822 put a little bit of stress on my 300 piece chipset. At the end of the video, I'll show you how I modified it when I got home. Enjoyed playing against these three gentlemen. Games played on Thursday, however, do not count toward the challenge. So tomorrow, the challenge begins. One of the featured games for the challenge this year was 18MS. I had an opportunity to start Friday morning playing 18MS with its designer, Mark Derrick. 18MS is a shorter game. Luckily, playing with Mark, I was able to discover some of the design features of the game and realize there's more to this game than just a beginner's game. We finished up 18MS fairly quickly and that resulted in a long waiting time for the other games to finish before we could start another one. One of the advantages of the Chattanooga event is that Jeff from Golden Spike Games was able to bring my order with him, which resulted in me being able to explore my 18 New York, 1841, and of course, my replacement board for my 18 EU. I got 18 EU off the secondary market and it had a foam cord board. It had been well loved and well used. So it was a refreshing to see a professionally made folding board. After dinner, Andy and I found Franklin and David for a game of 1889. Franklin won this game, but there was less than $300 between first and last place. Another great short game. I was happy to get a live play in because with the success of the Kickstarter, we're sure to see this at future events. Saturday started out with a four-player game of 1860. I originally sought out this game as a two-player game for me and Mason. However, I think my favorite way of playing it is four players. I'm looking forward to the delivery of the Kickstarter here in the near future. We're sure to see this one in the future events as well. The rest of Saturday was spent exploring 18DO. First we had a five player game using the railway rules and then we played heat, sweat and beers until the wee hours of the morning. I ended up ordering a copy of this off the Board Game Geek Market. There will be future videos explaining the various ways of playing 18DO. final day of the challenge started out with an 1846. We played four players with the new privates. 
It was a very energizing game and ended up with Mason winning it. By delaying our departure, we were able to squeeze in one more game of 18MS. 18MS is a feature game, which means it was worth bonus points to the challenge. This is my historical record that Mason Rouser wanted to play 18MS. And it is a good thing he did, because it was enough to push him into third place. Congratulations to Jonathan, Dave, and Mason for their first, second, and third place wins at the 26th Annual Chattanooga Rail Game Challenge. Given the difficulties I had with a number of companies in 1822, I decided to change my chipset a little bit. I wanted to keep it to 300 chips, but all I did is I took out some 20s, added 25 50s, and then adjusted the rest of the chips to give me a nice round bank of 14K. I hear the conductor. That means it's time to go. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and a comment. Until next time, have fun training. Thank you.